Whoa, we got a we got a new episode of the podcast coming out, guys. Oh shit! Look at this. What number is this? It doesn't fucking matter. There's there's four. Yeah, eighty six. Yeah, that that one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I would win sixty nine because you know what I'm saying. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, bro. <laughs> Or number four twenty, hey, cut it. You smoke we, up for four twenty. We, we got, we got to yeah. cut it. Uh, <laughs> did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a, a hard one, you know, to celebrate. Is it though? I mean, this year. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Not really. Yay, COVID. <laughs> Do, oh, okay. Spencer's did you celebrate with your friends, Noah? <clears throat> No. Okay. Then. I mean, I've asked you to go. Like, yeah, I was gonna say, Darius. <laughs> that's more. On, that's more on you. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to celebrate with your friends when your friends say no. <laughs> yeah. Every time he asks me, it's like always the worst time. I'm not yeah. listening to these excuses. Darius. Every time. Is he never. Mm-hmm. He Every never single ad- time. One hundred One hundred percent of the time. It's always a bad time. It's true. <laughs> so I should probably take the hint. <laughs> yeah. Get fucked, Noah. <laughs> uh, we got we got a we got a double wide podcast today, maybe. Double wait. wide surprise. Yeah, double wide surprise. We got a whole Ew. lot to talk about. <laughs> nasty. You know this from? No, but I'm just thinking worse, about double wide dicks. Yes. No. <laughs> Am I the gay one here? I'll, I'll show you the video later. <laughs> it's hilarious. I thought I showed you. I'm, I don't think you did. It's the rabbit season video by Meat Cannon. No, you didn't show okay. me. So what were you yeah. thinking? But I've seen it. What? I was just saying it. Were you not You've thinking of a dick? No, no, I've seen the video oh, okay. on YouTube, but I've never watched the video it's on pretty YouTube. Good. Meat Canyon's got some bad stuff. Yu Gi Oh! one's <laughs> <Yeah>. really good. <laughs> Were you not thinking of a dick? No. Oh, okay. No, I was. I, I let my mind go blank, and I just, I just uh, said the exact same thing Noah said with the same level of energy, and he <laughs> oh. liked it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's step one on making people like you. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we, we got loads of stuff. Before we, We're not going to get into it now, but Darius and I are going to spoil the shit out of Final Fantasy VII Remake mm-hmm. yeah, later. And I will listen. Yeah, no, Noah has never played the original, and he didn't play this one, <laughs> and he doesn't care about them either. So, <laughs> um, But no, right, f- first things first, I got a couple of things I was thinking about, and they're, they're stupid questions that I want to ask Noah and Darius. Um, but first, let's get into something real real close and dear to our hearts darius do you want to explain to noah this game bag bullshit oh game it's bag. nothing <laughs> uh, so i was like so i <laughs> you make it sound nasty it's not nasty <laughs> it's weird it's not weird it, yeah, uh, i don't know what to think about it right yeah now. L- l- it's not weird tell me if this what he's about to tell you is weird or not okay so i was going through well first of all i have this b- two bags but they're not like Aldi bags or like jewel bags. They're, they're like kind of like weird cloth bags. Yeah, so like yeah. like reusable bags. Yeah, right. And uh, they're full of like games and movies of like. Okay. Since I've been you know playing and buying my whole life, and like I don't have like a shelf to put them on, so I just put them all in this fucking bag. Sure. And I put them behind my TV stand. You you've been to my house. Yeah. So they're all they're all behind my TV. And uh, in the corner of his house, he has two bags of DVDs. <laughs> From his entire and video games and video games from his entire life of buying games, yeah. Instead of buying a twenty dollar bookshelf, he's um, just putting them. I find that weird. That that bags of games. But I was looking for something. I forgot what the fuck I was looking for. I was looking for a movie, and when I was going through it, I I, I fucking I pick up these bags like. It was the movie. Uh, I I remember what movie was. It's 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 Wackness. Yeah. yeah. Wackness. Yeah, the Wackness. Uh, it's with uh, Josh Peck. Yep, mm, really. Ben King, Sir, Sir Ben Kingsley, and weird. it's like super weird good. Harry Kate or Ashley, one of those. Awesome <laughs> one of one of them. One of them. Yeah. They're the same. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen them in the same room together. So, <laughs> but yeah, so I was looking for that, and so I, I pulled these. I pulled these bags out like once every like fucking three years. Sure, because there's all just old PS2 games and DVDs and shit, and I don't really fucking. I don't really go through it that much. And uh, as I was looking through them, like, I got to the bottom of the bag, and there was a single maggot at Ooh. the bottom of the bag. And it was like a big boy maggot. It was like almost an inch. Oh, Jesus. And like you can tell it shed its skin. But it was just a single maggot. And I was like, where what did it come fuck? from? What Yuck. was it eating? Just one. Just one. 
Just it's one. It, it was very fucking weird, man. Alive. Yeah, yeah it was oh, most really? definitely alive. <laughs> it was at the very bottom of the bag, which I uh, don't get. But yeah. <laughs> hey, that yeah. grossed me out. Yeah, but there was. But at the same time, there was like no slime on my DVDs or games, hmm. so I don't know what it was doing there or how long it was. How long can how long Weird. can maggot, maggots live for? Well, depends on what kind. Yeah, because maybe it was a grub too. Right. So like, what's a grub? It's like a maggot, but they don't <laughs> evolve into anything cooler. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Just making shit up. Yeah, I've only seen grubs in grub form. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> grubs in grub form. So yeah, it was it was weird, but that's that's my 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 game bag. Did you kill it? Yeah, yeah, I killed it. Oh, he, he was not living. You, just, you didn't take him outside, let him live his life. No, no, oh. no. He, somehow, I don't, I, I don't know how <laughs> he found his way into my house, into my game bag. Personally, I would have let him live. <laughs> you like, know, he he survived that long. Fuck it, he was eating. He deserves it. Weird. My, my guess is maybe he was eating like the paper of like the the slip cases. Sure, that's my only. That's the only thing he could have possibly possibly been eating. Would he have to get like under the plastic? Yeah, it's weird. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, that's my weird game bag. It's not that weird. <laughs> thank you, thank you, James. Appreciate that. <laughs> Second time you've done it. I, I move, I move a lot. Yeah, he sure. he went into a more relaxed state right there, okay. so I could get it in front of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and it's easier for someone else to adjust your microphone because you don't know exactly where you're going to be sitting, but someone else can like see it and move it for sure. you. But I did find some jewels in there. I found my my original copy of FF Seven. Nice. I found uh, oh, another movie. Uh, black. I found Black Lagoon, the anime. I don't know if you guys ever. Oh watched yeah, it, yeah, heard of it. Yeah, that was good. And then I found um, my original copy of Kingdom Hearts. One. Yeah. Hey. So I found some good stuff in there. You framing that now? <laughs> no, that that disc is destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was one of those kids that like left the game inside the system at oh, all times. Oh, yeah. Well, so, that's like, okay. But travel. Oh, um, damn. and I did. I didn't know that. Yeah. Like, it would fuck it. Ooh. <laughs> and like, so it was like constant travel between like my grandma's house and my cousin's house and my house, just shaking the yeah. entire console. Yeah. And then, you know, you're a kid, so you don't, you don't fucking know. So. It's fair. Yeah. Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> All right, Noah. I, I yeah. We've never talked about this on this podcast. But uh we're gonna we're gonna get into two very, very serious questions. Just like the last thing was very serious. Uh the first question isn't nearly as serious as the second question. Mm-hmm. So think of all the like video game houses you've ever seen, right? If you could just Get a one-one version of that, like whatever mansion, house, whatever in any game. What would you pick? Any game. Any game. Fuck, dude, I don't know. Come That's on, there's got to be question. stuff you looked at and went like, "Yo," because like people would probably look at me and be like, "Ah, James would probably be like the Resident Evil One mansion," and I'd be like, "No," because I'd die of a heart attack before I got <laughs> from one end to the other. <laughs> like, I don't care if that place is full. I wouldn't be able to stay there. But like, I don't know. I I feel like there are a lot of like. Budget, no options. You know, like, what what video game location would you just be like, I want that. Location? Well, like a house, you or know, a like, like a house do you, mansion. Do you have to pay the bills in this house? or? or nah, it's free for, free for life. Free for life. I gotta go Dante's, uh, the Devil May Cry shop. Oh, yeah, his, his dope bar. I, I was gonna, like, that's why I asked you, because he never pays his bills. So. Well, that's because he's cheap and stupid, and he owes lady loads of money <laughs> <laughs> but that that place is always like cool to me yeah i got a good cool second floor got a pool table jukebox yeah people can drive motorcycles into it <laughs> 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 i mean if it's big enough for a motorcycle it's big enough for me you know this is a hard question hey man these are the questions you got to start thinking about in your I day-to-day don't. life i don't i mean now you do <laughs> Shit. What do you want? Shit, I, I, I mean, I don't know either. You know, what? I'm not, I'm not, I'm. Just... Can't ask a question and not be prepared with an answer. I, of course you can. <laughs> you can, but you shouldn't. Yeah, I mean, you're right. 
<laughs> that was a mistake on my part, not going to lie. Um, yeah, computer, you're going to yell at me like that? Good God. Um, no, I keep thinking Gex's mansion and Gex 3. Oh, yeah. For oh, you. With, like, the Why? big TVs everywhere and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Would you go for uh, Mario's, the, the castle in Mario 64? No. No? Not no. Ryan Thurman. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's a dope castle. It's it's an all right castle. It's pretty empty. There's not a single piece of furniture Except for in the that portals bitch. into different dimensions. Those portals are only active while Bowser has power in that castle. By the end of the game, those portals are inactive. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it was his magic that made that shit happen. Oh. Yeah. Learn the lore, idiot. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah. God. My bad. My bad. <laughs> No, I so the the reason I was thinking about this is I keep like looking at like car dealerships and like different things and I have this weird thing with like the idea of retrofitting an existing building to be a place that you live. Like yeah. there are so many cool buildings out there. Like that dentist shop that we were right. looking at, that's like it's a bank. Turning a bank into your house is like a pretty cool idea if you had the funds, yeah. you know? Um You have that safe. Yeah. That'd be sick. I just I just sleep in there. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a bedroom. <laughs> like it'd be perfect be so uh, safe exactly the panic know. room is my house you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> hop on in assholes um but no honestly I, I there's too many cool houses and at the same time like when you're when you're put in that position can you think about you know yeah right so uh let's move on to the second question i had gun to your head you have <laughs> okay. to get a face tattoo jesus what do you get face tatted i don't know well, gun to your head, Noah. Gun Teardrop. Head, Noah. Teardrop. <laughs> so people don't fuck with me. You know? <laughs> I don't know. I, but here's the problem, right? Because if you get the teardrop, the people you would not want to fuck with you might fuck with you. Yeah. You're going to get some attention you don't I don't think they'd don't fuck want. with you purely because you had a teardrop tattoo. Yeah, but I think they would fuck with you because... I mean, like, if I got a teardrop tattoo, they'd fuck with me because I look like me with a teardrop tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, well, people don't just fuck with the people they don't know, generally. Well, that like already the... defeats the purpose of your teardrop tattoo. <laughs> Nobody fucks well, with like, you anyway. <laughs> yeah. But, no. uh, my dumb idea is the, the stupid eye lines from a uh, quote from Cave Story. Sure. It's just right from the middle of the eye down to, like, the chin. It's too simple, it's but boop, because it's like it's neat. Could be artistic, right? It's lame. <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm not gonna say it's not a video game character's face lines, but <laughs> I would go for uh, Noah. You might know this, uh, mm. XX Tatashion. Yeah, you know his tattoos on his nose, the like oh the lines. Yeah, but they're like red. Yeah. I think too. Yeah. yeah, I would. I would most definitely go with those because those just look cool. That's not bad, and. Change you, you you have to Google it. Yeah, <laughs> Just, I was like <laughs> trying to think. Uh, gotta fucking look up Tentacion. That's not a bad idea. Cause it's it's not anything too like threatening, like a teardrop. <laughs> right. And it's not anything too crazy, like fucking Post Malone's right. sword, sword on his face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. And he's like always tired on his what, eyelids. Yeah. Or below his eyes. Yeah. Always tired is. Uh, I like all his tattoos except for those. those oh, ones. really? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. There we go. I went through like eight photos and none of them had a nose tat. And I'm <laughs> really? like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. That, that, that's, I like that. You yeah. know, it's in the same vein of being like, it's simple. It's not like a human face on your face. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, <laughs> I feel like when you get to human face on your face territory, it's too far gone. Or even if I, it's a gun to your head, I wouldn't. <laughs> what I could also do is, um, I could get like just the uh, the continent of Africa, like right here in Mount Temple, because then no one will be like, you know, oh, what the fuck is that for? You know, no, no one's gonna be like, are oh, you hooligan? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like, oh, you love your country. And then like, I'm kind of still hireable because it's just like, <laughs> right. I just love my motherland. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it's not a Uzi. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I'm not threatening. I just. you know. <laughs> So it'd be either, either one of those. Yeah. You could play it off like a birthmark. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 some, like king territory shit. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. James, did you pitch your did you pick your house? No one did you pick your house? I did not. Fuck, dude. Yeah, come on, man. Shit. 
It's hard. Shit. I don't think I play many games with, like, main characters has a house. Well, I mean, it doesn't even have to be the main character, right? Because, like... I guess. Because, like, it's a location, you know? Like, Resident Evil, Chris Chris Redfield doesn't own that mansion. He's a he's a cop. He doesn't have money. <laughs> it's too much power, dude. <laughs> I mean, you don't gotta go for a mansion. It's true. You Matches. know, you go for something, something simple that works, you know? Like, like I could be like, oh, my Animal Crossing village, you know? Fucking fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, like Ori's Hut. Huh? Ori's Hut. Oh, from, from like the forest. Blind Forest? Yeah. yeah, that's fair. That'd be sick. I've never played it. I need to. It's really good. I'd still need to play the second game. Yo, you know what would be dope? Fucking um, Dark Souls 3, the, whole, the hub world. The uh, Firelink. Oh, game. yeah. yeah that would be dope as fuck. Yeah, or like taking Ain Orlando from yeah. Dark Souls 1, like yeah. the castle. That would be nice. Could never open a fucking door because you're not a giant. <laughs> I, I, would go, I, would, I would go Dark Souls 3. Oh, that, to Firelink. You don't have to move your face. Uh, I'm I would go Dark Souls three. The the place is it Firelink? Fire, Fire Firelink Shrine. Shrine. Yeah. It's just like, can you imagine a place with like a fucking nice ass like sixty inch TV, <laughs> like some speakers and shit. Like straight, it's just straight up like a cathedral. Like it yeah. has the three th- three thrones, right? Five. Five thrones. Five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can you can shoot K pop videos in that place. <laughs> <laughs> Rent it out on the weekends. <laughs> yeah. Now I would, it would suck during the winter because I don't think there's any doors. Well, just, just. I mean, you could make build doors. There's a know? bonfire in the center of it. Exactly. It'll yeah, keep warm. Good. That shit yeah, never goes out, right? Yeah. I yeah. mean, maybe it depends on the ending you pick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck that. I, I'd, I'd pick Anor Londo. Yeah. I, yeah, I'd take Anor Rodeo. Jesus, there's too much <laughs> castle for one man. Absolutely. I'll, I mean, I'll just get Does more it come people with to all hang the bed though. You mean like all the goblins and yeah. shit? I mean, maybe. I hope there's a mimic in there. <laughs> hope it moves around so I get confused from time to time. Sometimes it looks that. like my fridge. You're just gonna, it's so big, though. You're going to get sad. Well, I mean, I'm not alone. Other people still live in the world, you know? Like <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about this. So you have a family, right? You, you know, you, you, in real life or... No, I'm just saying, like, you, you, yeah, wife, you got kids. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to watch out. Some people yeah, don't like have a Yeah, like a hypothetical. <laughs> yeah, hypothetical. And you buy a mansion. You, you, you're, you're balling enough to buy a mansion. Is it weird for you yes. to invite your friends to kind of live with you if they have kids too? Because I feel like people don't do that, but I feel I don't like think so. There's it depends a, on the relationship. If I you guess. got a big enough house, it's kind of like <clears throat> like a, a roommate situation. But like, right. if you all got your kids, everybody the kids can play together. Yeah, is that weird? It I depends mean, on the estate size, I guess. Yeah. Because here's the thing, right? If I came into a bunch of money and I bought a mansion, I was like, hey, Darius, you and your mom should come live with me. Uh, I'll come how do you feel? Like, you like know? a mansion in Charlevoix, like that huge place. Yeah. Right, like that kind of size place. I think there's no problem with it, you know? I mean, I, my mom probably will not live with you. But if you bought a mansion and you're like, hey, Noah, Darius, I got so much space that you i can't me, fill it yeah. yeah you live with me with me will not be a problem right we will only run to each other if we want to yeah yeah i would say yeah even but, if you're like you and trisha are still there like I, I don't i feel like at that point you're inviting me and it's so much space i'm not invading your space yeah. right maybe people do that in other countries and americas are just like super selfish and yeah i'd believe it because yeah. I, w- I, w- I wouldn't dismiss the yeah <laughs> Cause there's there's definitely a point when it's like that is too much house for one person or yeah. like three people you know like a family that's too much house for a family yeah um but at the same time there's that same thing where i was talking to you right like i was like if i win that two billion dollar lottery right, right. like <clears throat> if i walked up and was like hey darius like you're cool you and your mom deserve like a place i bought you a house is that weird of me to do to buy a friend a house if i have the funds no right like i would say no but i'm sure some people would be like eh, i don't feel comfortable about that yeah. but it's like but i want to like it's a token of a pre- i'm not trying to buy you i'm trying <laughs> right. to like token of appreciation for being like set you up so yeah you're more comfortable exactly yeah. i don't know i was walking past some mansions yesterday and it made me think about <laughs> oh yeah it. yeah just casually walking by some mansions. it's too much house <laughs> it <laughs> to is be honest did i drive by them when i used to go to work ever since <laughs> covid happened used and when i haven't been like working from home like, who the fuck needs that much house there's like nobody million dollar mansions and they're just huge 
It's, it's kind of the idea of a match is kind of yeah. fucking ridiculous. Especially when like most of that space is just empty. Yeah. Yeah, like, dude. Like, like the huge like vaulted ceilings and shit. Yeah. It's just why. Is it? If you're a family of four and you got six rooms, what do you do with those other rooms? You you don't. They're no. probably fucking empty. And people who own those houses, that's probably not even their main house. Yeah. I, I know a person who had, like, one of those large houses for, like, that. Yeah? And, like... Did they have a big family? No, they had four people. So what they do with the other rooms? <laughs> well, uh, one of them... D- dude, real talk, it was, like, I went over there a couple times, and, like, by the fourth or fifth time, I found out there were even more rooms than I had known. Jesus. <laughs> like, there are still rooms in that place that I've never seen before. <laughs> empty? Huh? No. They, they were, like, Farms? weird, like, side rooms where it was, like, like kind of how this room is, like, my room, right? Sure, yeah. It was, like, the father's room. And it was just, like, figures of sports people. Yeah, and, like, yeah. a TV and a couch. You know, like, a game room or whatever. Yeah. But, like, I was, like, looking <clears throat> at it and I'm, like, my my house from my parents could fit in your living room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Like, because of how high the ceilings were even and stuff. And it's, like, yo. I mean, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure, you know... We sound like a bunch of peasants, though, to people with real money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we're the, people with real money are like, the fact that you're even talking about this is, is you know, terrible. You know? Right. <laughs> See, I was thinking that, too, because it's like we're all coming from a different frame of mind, too. Because, like, mm-hmm. somebody who grew up in that would just be like, it'd be like, this is normal. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean your house only has one bathroom? <laughs> you know? like It's all about that perspective. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this, this is peasant talk right here. Cause like I'm what right now I'm like looking at my apartment and I'm like, man, when Trish and I move into a house, like if we, when we ever buy a house, mm-hmm. what am I going to do with the extra space? Yeah. Cause I don't even want more. I don't want more things than I have now with right. the exception of like, Talk what about an Alucard figure workout? Baby. Equi- exactly. <laughs> oh, a figure room. That'd be dope. I'd be like, real talk. I'd be like scrounging to find something to put in there like uh what do i want to buy crate yeah I'll put a wooden crate in this room like, it's straight up be <laughs> animal crossing here's my crate room yeah, here's, why do you have a crate room because i don't know what to put in it man <laughs> just get like some empty pallets to just yeah, throw around exactly this now, is my break room <laughs> now noah i watched joker last night yeah now i need i need everybody to know i did not pay for this Okay. My pro- I made a promise to myself after Batman v Superman to never pay for, for a DC movie for a DC again. Movie ever, and I would never give them, give them money, so I didn't That's pay fair. for this. But make, this I isn't need to like be clear. really a DC movie. Hmm? It's different. It's different, but it technically is. So I can't give them money. It's close enough, you know. It's not close enough to the cinematic universe. It says DC, <laughs> and I can't give them money. That's fair. <laughs> what did you think of Joker? I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't perfect. But I like how like art housey it was. It was very artsy. Yeah, very artsy, which is which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I think he deserved that Oscar. Yeah, yeah. His acting was super good. He carried that movie. I don't yeah. know. Do you have any interest in the James? Oh yeah, I'm interested in it, but like I don't care about spoilers. Go hog wild. He he become Joker. I mean, I this guess. is like this yeah. is like a two year two year old conversation. Yeah, but fuck it. I mean, yeah, he carried many, that movie. Yeah. Not many people die in that movie either. I think like five people die. Yeah, which is like nothing. But he like the the the, it's weird because he's mostly just alone in Mm -hmm. the movie, and like that's a lot of weight to carry as an actor when it comes to you know a movie. You get usually do your best acting when you like work off people. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's a good point. But he really like carried that movie because at this point. That's I, that's kind of one of the thing the themes of the movie too though right is yeah. like isolation. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So yeah, he's a fucking he's a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, I saw once time upon once time once upon a time in Hollywood. Uh, how was that? Really, really good. And I thought Leo should have won an Oscar because they were they were going oh, against really? each other. Yeah, isn't that Tarantino? Yeah, and I'm a huge Leo fan. I'm a fucking Leo fanboy. You know, <laughs> but Leo <laughs> killed that role. Then I saw this and I understand why Joaquin Phoenix got the got the Oscar. He did a great job, but something about the movie just rubbed me the wrong way. Joker. Yeah, I just feel like it's that 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 DC curse of them not knowing what the fuck they're doing. And like to me, from what I know about Joker, Joker is like, yes, he's a crazy motherfucker. He's like psychotic and mm-hmm. does weird shit. 
But he's he's like he's charismatic. And he like he's a manipulator. Yeah. And like in that movie, he was not very charismatic and he just like No. Was a like lonely weir- weirdo. And I kinda I, I felt like they got it wrong. It was like it was like whoever wrote it, it was like their version of Joker. But it's not Joker because this the the guy in that movie could not manipulate Harley Quinn into making her drop her whole entire career and changing her whole entire personality. Sure. Yeah. And you becoming... could also say that's like a learned skill. That's true. <clears throat> I was I was gonna say that too, because by the time that Harley comic wise, right? Yeah. By the Dude, time Harley gets that, learned that movie like, takes place in like the seventies. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know what they're what they're doing because Bruce is like I don't know, ten. And I, yeah, I don't Bruce's know if that's I don't know if that's gonna parents, be a Robert like, Pattinson Bruce. I don't movie. It makes no sense because they're still doing suicide. Oh god, squad. the fucking Robert Pattinson suit design. <sighs> the still... suit's kind of weird. The car is sick though. Did do, do, do you do you see the bat symbol on his chest? We got to mm. see the suit. Yeah. yeah, and we just symbol and the yeah. Batmobile. Oh, the bat the bat symbol on his chest is made out of a handgun. No, it's not. It's knives. I think. I think it's a handgun. I don't think so. Is it the fat bat? No, no, hang on. Let me let me it's let like me look two it up. Knives. Uh, you guys keep talking about right. Joker. Do we know anything about this movie? Is it gonna be Batman Year One? This is starting out Batman, I think. So, if so, I remember correctly, so are they gonna try to line up with the Joker shit? Because it would have to take I, place in like the eighties, which I have I, no problem it, with. No, it's a gun. Is it? It's a gun melted down, and the story right, is it's, it's, the, it's gun. the gun that killed his parents. Yeah. yeah. But like it's not a gun, right? So right. It's you can clearly see the hand. Like, could you just hand this to Darius? I think the idea is kind of stupid. It looks better not in that daylight shot. The suit does, yeah. but like when I heard that it's the gun that killed his parents, <laughs> yeah. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> how heavy handed yeah, is that shit?" That's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> the fact that it's year one Batman, I'm, I'm that bat suit is acceptable. Yeah, because oh, yeah. it's. it's if if it's straight up, this is my first time being mm-hmm. Batman. Yep, dude, I still want a bat suit with the cape that goes over his chest. Uh, here's a better shot. So like more like the animated series. Yeah. To where like it can actually like go around him, and I think they could like play with like he that kind of bold ridiculous. dark shape. Very, <laughs> they very could. Well with fucking but he looks film. like a budget, fucking budget costume. Of like Halloween costume of Black Widow or Batman. <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like what like the enemy's military version of an infantry Batman would look like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the only thing, because I absolutely agree with Noah on that, but uh, I want a bat suit with like the cape in the front, is that you would never be able to do it in real life. I feel not never because yeah. I don't. I don't want to say that movies have gone and you know they've done a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have thought they could as a kid. Um. But, like, you need a big, broad man to, like, have that defined yeah. shape look good. But then you wouldn't really be able to have him be doing the, like, quick stuff and have it be more believable. Because, like, when we see him, like, jump ten feet in the right. show and, like, punch a dude, like, super quick, I believe it. But if you told me that it was The Rock doing that, <laughs> yeah. I'd go, no. <laughs> no. That's true. Shut up. <laughs> That's 200 pounds oh, of Affleck muscle. was pretty yeah. big. Oh, yeah. Uh, he he was he was like sturdy, I guess. I, Affleck Affleck I think is one of the best Bruce Waynes. Oh yeah, absolutely. I haven't. Like, I think seen he killed Ben movies. Affleck. He I, that was Ben Affleck was a good was a good Batman. Yeah, I got no absolutely. problem with that. The movie was that bad. movie was bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, he's he's really good as Bruce Wayne, and he does a pretty good job as being like I don't want to say an aged Batman, but like like like. Because I feel like tired uh, of the shit, Batman. Exactly. Where I stab a man in the chest. Yeah, I'm gonna stab a man in the chest, <laughs> putting him against a wall and let him sit. You know, <laughs> baseball bat swing a big grenade into an elevator and kill five men, and then here comes the missiles. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, no, yeah, Ben Affleck's great. Martha, Martha, why do you know that name? <laughs> <laughs> you need. I I want you to watch at least just YouTube. Just fucking. I'm gonna say oh, it out loud. Have you not Pirate. seen Batman v Superman? No. Pirate. I've heard about this. It's so bad. But, yeah. Dude, I was so excited because in the, there's a sequence with Batman's fighting like weird bug monsters. 
Oh yeah. In a desert. I was so excited for to like understand what that was about. It was a dream sequence. Really? And I was like, Jesus. are we I thought we were past that. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you this. Darius, if there's a trope Darius could scrub off the face of the <laughs> earth and never be seen again, it's dream sequence. Are yeah. they not the worst? Yeah, they're the worst. <laughs> or mix together dream sequence with it was all a dream. Uh, not it was all a dream. It was all fake. Yeah. Not even necessarily a dream, but fake. He hates that shit. Yeah, I that agree. Shit is the worst. <laughs> I hope they don't pull that with Final Fantasy VII Remake. I hope they don't pull that shit either. That's if the last game puts everything back... To how the original was, I will feel like that entire story was wasted. Dude, the way to handle this is such a gamble. Dude, they're on eggshells right now, bro. <laughs> they are on thin ice. For what? <laughs> For Final, Final Fantasy VII. No. We'll we'll get into it in a, a bit later, but yeah. Uh, so Joker's good. It's good for 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 a watch. It was it's weird. Yeah. I don't. <sighs> There's a bunch of parts that are. I, I just weird. hate how DC is handling this shit, man. Because I don't know. Obviously, this is not the same Joker that's turning Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad. Yeah. But you're making a sequel to Suicide Squad. I think Squad. this was just a one-off. No, yeah. they're making a sequel. T- really? It made a billion dollars. It? Yeah. Huh. It made a billion dollars in an uh, Oscar. Hell yeah, they're making a sequel. Which is, I don't, I don't know. The only way they can get out of it is if they, uh, he gets an underling. An underling. And the underling is Joker. Oh. So he's not the Joker that we think he is, yeah. but he's the person that put that the idea sense. into the real Joker's head. I can't see that happening. I don't think they would either, but... <laughs> Jeez, there's this very good scene in that movie where Joker, uh, Joker like, mom just died or whatever, and mm-hmm. his two friends from work come, and one's a regular yeah. size man and one's a midget. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they, like, they're like, hey, we heard your mom died. Here's, you know, we got some liquor for you. You know, we're just trying to be here for you. And the big, the normal sized dude was a dick to him. Yeah, he got him fired. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they're before in, that or yeah. okay, they're in. It was his fault, kind of. It was, it was Joker's own fault, was it? Yeah, you I don't. don't bring... He kind of gave him a gun, and he James, like... would you bring a gun to a child's hospital, children's hospital? No, I mean okay. that was an accident. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> was not <laughs> hold up hold up hold up did joker look at a real gun pick it up and take it to the children's yes. hospital and did he know it was a real gun yes that was joker's fault <laughs> this has been a while since i've seen it <laughs> but anyway to get to the scene <laughs> so the 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 regular dude and the midges in the apartment with joker and uh the regular dude was like cat he he's only there to see if joker like gave him up because if Joker told the police that it was his gun, yeah, and Joker sees through it, and he just kills him right in front of the midget, yeah, yeah, and the midget's like, oh my god, he's just in a corner. He's like, I'm a midget, I can't do shit. If he wants to kill me, he can, he can kill me. And Joker's just like, just laughing, and he's like, I'm not gonna kill you, Gary. You can go. And Gary like, is like, thank <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, he can't unlock the door. Yeah, he's it has a the, the yeah. So the he needs lock. Joker to fucking <laughs> unlock it for him. <laughs> <laughs> but he like just killed somebody, yeah. so he's like. Uh, <laughs> so the, the scene is so tense because this Joker walking up to this midget. You know, you're like uh, he's probably gonna uh, kill this midget. He's a witness. It's a coin toss right now. Yeah, <laughs> but as two face. <laughs> but he, he's like, Joker's actually cool about. It. He's like, you're the only one that was nice to me, and just yeah. lets him out. And then he goes off and kills Murray. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, not yeah. Sly's friend. Yeah. Kills him right dead. He's like, your driving sucks. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I don't, after seeing that bat suit, I'm very curious about this Robert Pattinson movie. Yeah. I'll go watch it with you. I well, mean, I mean, you can't I'm, give it money. It's a Batman movie. Says <sighs> DC. You're, you're right. I can't give it money. It says DC. Been Fun. saying we need a Court of the Owls fucking arc. We ain't going to get that in cinema it's for so a while. Good, dude. That's it's so good. Court of Owls is... What was it? Uh, f- phase Phase Four of the the Justice League mm-hmm. is when we'll see that. <laughs> it's the equivalent of where we are now in the Marvel Cinematic yeah, Universe. Yeah. Do you, do you, you know? Do you own those comics? I don't own Court of Owls. My boss let me borrow like uh, the omnibus of it. Mm, I, I think that's how you it, pronounce man. it. It's. Have you read it? No. I, just, so I hear nothing but good, good things about it though. Yeah, it's basically like Batman's at the top of his game, and he's like, "Yeah, I know the city," and <laughs> 
the new villain is the Court of Owls, which is like an underground organization that's been operating Gotham through the shadows. And he's like, these people have been here like since day fucking one, like before I was even born, like they've been here. And he's just like finding out like all of this stuff about a city that he thought he knew everything about. Uh, is Robin really good. or Nightwing in there? Oh, uh, yeah, I believe so. I think cool. Nightwing's in it. Because it's the already. Bat Family versus the Owls. Because, yeah. like, the Owls, like, turn people into, like, assassins. And they have them, like, just, like, kind of dead until they need them. So they, like, reawaken them. And it's just, like, a bunch of assassins throughout time that they made. And they so attack the Wayne Manor. You're right. That's what, Phase 3? Yeah. It's so good, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds super dope. It's so good. Uh, I'm pretty sure the last couple times, like, it's usually at either disc replay or half price books. Every other time I've gone to one, if they have, I've looked occasionally if for like, the collection of Court of Owls, if and I haven't go. seen it. Uh, the comic book shop that we went to, that's right down the road from mm-hmm. me, when it was you, me, and Jonah, yeah, they probably have. They had it. Oh shit. Yeah, I just didn't know you wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, when the world stops uh, ending, we'll go. Cool. So, let me tell Noah about this. I told you about my Batman Telltale thing because we're talking about Batman. <laughs> <right now. laughs> Have you played the Batman Telltale game? No, but I've heard about it. Okay, so I know it's like the Joker, the character, but he's not the Joker yet or something. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm playing the first one, and long story short, I'm in the I'm in like this underground part of Arkham. I'm like I caught up to the main bad guy. The main bad guy, uh pretty much like kidnapped alfred and mm-hmm. alfred's like tied up and the main guy, bad guy's like doing is like her monologue and she's like blah 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 take your mask off and the option is take your mask off or attack yeah and in my head i'm thinking <laughs> i'm batman i'm capable of attacking this person and alfred not getting hurt yeah so i, I pr- of course i press attack and alfred ends up <laughs> losing the eye Oh shit! <laughs> I felt so bad. sorry, bud. I felt so bad. I was like, I kind of felt like Telltale tricked me. I was like, <laughs> yeah. this is Batman. He's been attacking, not like Alfred. That's hilarious. You lose. And they make you feel bad too because later on you're Bruce and you're you're Bruce and you're sitting there with Alfred. Alfred has a fucking iPad. Throw <laughs> shit! And he goes to reach for a fucking cup and spills the fucking oh, cup fuck. on the ground. <laughs> it's like, uh, and Bruce Wayne's face is like. It's a clearly I fucked up face. Yeah. And I just felt so bad for Alfred. So going to the second game, Alfred's going to have a fucking eye patch. And I, you know how it tells you, like, how many people picked that like decision? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like you and 29% of people only picked that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. His, uh... His secret identity is more important than his family. I yeah. thought Batman could handle it because he was Batman. <laughs> yeah, but you forgot that this was Telltale. Yeah, I was so con- I pressed that button so confidently too. I was like, like, this is the easiest this. thing he's done all day. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so yeah, um, we'll see about that Robert Pattinson movie. Uh, I, I, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's like I'm never gonna say a person can't be a role. Yeah. Not after what Heath Ledger Joker it. and Ben Affleck Batman. Oh, yeah, that's the like, question I got for you. Did you not think Heath Ledger? No, I I did. I was a child. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah, but like I loads of people. Way, like I had no fucking idea. Yeah, loads of people were like the dude from A Knight's Tale. Yeah, or like or that mother. Mountain. Exactly, yeah. and they're like, yeah, really. And then it was <laughs> yeah. like, oh yeah, really. He <laughs> killed that. Okay. <laughs> Who do you think was a better Joker, uh, Heath or uh, uh, probably Heath? Yeah. Yeah, I. I you can say that phoenix hasn't like really been in the same space that i guess heath ledger was able to do because he was actually like able to be the joker you know yeah this was like discovering the joker yeah this is him being his normal self until the very end right he goes fucking insane yeah i do think he's a super good joker though yeah he he killed that role he killed all that weight he lost Oh yeah, dude. His bone has. Yeah, you could weights. just see his like fucking skeleton under his fucking skin. That's fucking weird, man. Do you think he killed that uh the black girl, her daughter? Because they kind of leave that open. I don't think so. Because he just walks out. Yeah. But they don't show anything. Yeah, I don't think he did anything. Because the whole time I was watching, like, you better not kill her. Yeah. You better not <laughs> fucking kill her, dude. And they realize like almost all of it's just a hallucination. Yeah. 
It was, it was it was a good movie. I'm glad I watched it. Yeah. I just DC is so disappointing for Yeah. They just want to rush everything. Yeah. I think if they do like more arty films like Joker, I think that's a good spot for them to fill. They yeah. just have to give their characters care. With. Yeah. Cuz yeah. like when they actually wanted to tell a single character story and didn't want to set up a franchise is when they were at their best. Yeah. It's like, look at the Dark Knight trilogy, right? Mm-hmm. Or even the Batmans before that, with the exception of Batman and Robin, right? Like The best movie ever? Yeah, exactly. The best yeah. movie, Bat Nipples. Gotta love it. <laughs> uh, but no, like every, like even like Tim Burton's Batman, it's like... With Penguin and Catwoman? Yeah. yeah. It's really good. Yeah. It's strange, but it it, it knew what it wanted yeah. to be. But like, the, like even like Batman vs. Superman, it, they went into Batman vs. Superman going, we're going to make Justice League, but we need a start. And it's yeah. like... That's not how you do it. Let's throw so. three superheroes in here at once. Yeah. Yeah, they wanted and to catch up with Marvel. Make Lex Luthor so fucking weird. And you don't Can't. you don't catch up to Marvel by cutting corners. No. <laughs> like you gotta follow your plan. Let's turn to a superhero podcast. Yeah. yeah. You think Blade's gonna fight Morbius? I don't Probably, think Blade yeah. should be a movie. Blade versus Morbius? If I don't, Blade I don't is think a movie, movie. It will. Oh, what is it? Venom 2 got announced. Yeah. Yeah. Have you heard the, the title of Venom 2? I uh, fucking forgot. It was something with Carnage in it's it. It's dope. It's called, it's called Let There Be Carnage. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Uh, is it Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage or is it yeah, just called yeah. Let There Be Okay. Venom Let There Be Carnage or okay. something. Yeah. That's, a, that's a dope name. Was it Tallahassee and Zombie Land is going to be Cletus Cassidy? Yeah, yeah. I don't remember his name. Oh, he's important. He's a good actor. I should know his name. Yeah. I, I um, knew his name before yeah. you said oh Tallahassee. Tallahassee. <laughs> you piece of shit. Is it Charlie something? No, it's not. It's... it's. I'm bad with names. Oh, my God. You <laughs> fucked <laughs> us, Noah. Him, dude. Oh, my God. You piece of scum. Charlie Wilson? It's not Charlie Wilson. Uh, Woody <laughs> Harrelson? You. Woody Harrelson. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. probably it. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's a super yeah. good actor, so... Yeah, he's great. Hopefully... His hair looks weird because it's all like curly and stuff. Yeah, it's all That's red. It's so shit. weird. Yeah. <laughs> but at least, yeah, at least they're like actually trying to do it like the comics. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen him like play like an insane person. Yeah, so it'll be interesting. I don't think it'll be bad, but I just don't know how he'll play it. I guess. Yeah, that one we should go give money to. Yeah, and then yeah. Morpheus comes in at the very end. Yeah, I thought it was weird that they chose Riot for the first villain. Hmm. That's the symbiote that takes over the Indian dude or whatever. Yeah. Is that the female symbiote? No. We have the movie, James. The there female is symbiote is one. the same symbiote. Uh, what? Or are you thinking of the the, are, are the you, five extra symbiotes? You showed me a, a symbiote squad. You showed yeah. me Venom with titties. Like yeah, it, it's, it's, it's phage. Well, it depends. Like, there's different instances where venom's on like a female yeah but he he was specifically thinking of the separation anxiety comic where he like the five no, blood the, you out show of me him. a screenshot yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um I mean, it's, they're all dumb names because it's like phage uh like yeah, uh, phage, really flash, just watched the movie. riot anxiety um, venom <laughs> Yeah, you haven't seen that yet, have you? No, nope. James refuses oh. to watch it. I don't you refuse, refuse to watch, to watch, it, watch which it. I'm fine with. I'm not going <laughs> to beg him to watch it. James brings it up every time you're over. It's true, and he always says no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I'm not, I'm not going to beg you to watch that, that movie, okay? Is it Tom I mean, Hardy? I Tom Hardy's great. Tom Hardy's fantastic. Yeah, Tom Hardy. I've seen the preview to his uh, next movie. It's like an Al Capone movie. Oh, really? Hmm. And he's... I got excited when I saw that, so I clicked on it immediately, and mostly every scene was just, like, Al Capone in his, like, bathrobe at home. Yeah. So, I was like... Have you seen The Drunk History with Al Capone? No. It's so good. It's we'll great. show it to you. <laughs> He's a weird fucking mook, but he knew yeah. who to kill. Syphilitic moron. He's a syphilitic moron. <laughs> He'd hang a fishing pole in his pool out back and thought, think he was going to catch a fish. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a moron and syphilis rotted his brain. Yeah, the yeah, dick pus the, rotted the, his brain. I think yeah. the movie is about like the later years. Oh, really? Oh, so, so it's like the decline of him? Uh, yeah, so it's just like... It was That's like, the best time to do it. It was a bunch yeah, of just him know. in the bathrobe at home. And I was like... I didn't even know there was a Capone movie. I was thinking about the one where he played twin mobsters. I forgot. Legend. Mm. That one's pretty good. Wow. So, yeah. That's good. <laughs> I've got another dumb question I was gonna ask you guys, but uh, it's gonna it's gonna light a fire up my ass. Yeah. What's the most expired thing you guys have accidentally eaten? Oof. A 
expired. Because it's it's a thing where you know the thing, I but you got to think about it. Eaten anything expired. But I put bad cream in my coffee once. Brutal. That wasn't good. Yeah, like when the cream came up, it was green. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, not drinking this. Yeah, I just poured it out. <laughs> Uh, just to do mine, my dad helped clean out somebody's house mm. and he brought Slim Fast. And he was just like, I don't know, it's Slim Fast, oh, whatever. Shit. And me and my friends were all hanging out and it was a six pack of Slim Fast. So we all grabbed it and we all cracked it open at once because we're like, eh, we've never had a Slim Fast. How do these taste? We all drank it and then something hit our lips. Oh. Fuck. And we all stopped and looked at each other. Huh. And we were all in like a small room and we're like, look for the date and we're all like sliding the can like spinning it each one of us <laughs> and then i look to my friend because we can't find one and he looks at me and he goes he looks under the bottom and goes oh and then we all yeah. look and go oh and we turn around and our other friend is still drinking his oh and we're God. like no Just slap it out of his hand eight years Jeez. expired no Yikes. eight years expired so we all took a sip Except for my friend who just went, eh, fuck it. And we're uh, like, no, 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 <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So, uh, Was he, like, shitting his brains out? Like no, that? we were all fine. <laughs> we were all completely fine. Wow. But, yeah, eight, eight year expired some fast. The worst I ever done was, like, chips. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I feel like those don't even really, like, because, yeah. like, they they'll go bad, stale. but they don't, like, explode, you know? It's not like you reached in and pulled out moss, exactly. you know? Exactly. But yeah, I had to go down some struggle, <laughs> struggle chips, you know, a couple of times. Be like, man, I really, chips. <laughs> I really want some chips and salsa. These chips are inspired. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going out. You got to do what you got to uh, do. <laughs> I'm not going out. Have I already asked this question, but what are your favorite chips? Flaming Hot Fritos. Flaming Hot Fritos. I like sour cream and cheddar gruffles. Uh, salt and vinegar, Those any are- kind. Those things are top tier. Those are a good chip. And so, what, Salt and vinegar. I mean, that's a classic. Yeah. Here's the thing. I always hate it. Like, I, I, because I was, you know, Michigan with, with salt and vinegar. We have the basics. It's French onion and sour cream and cheddar. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends uh-huh. had an episode where Blue was eating salt and vinegar chips. And I'm yeah. like, what the fuck is salt and vinegar chips? And then I had <laughs> them in college for the first time. And I was like, these are the fucking bomb shit in town. What the fuck? <laughs> Like the best, um, but like my, my family always put like vinegar and green beans and shit. So I was like, I know what vinegar tastes like. Why would I want to eat that on a chip? Yeah. Well, silly me. Pain is great on the lips. So. Yeah. Oh, there's there's one more thing I had before going into uh, Final Fantasy. I went grocery shopping and I wanted some orange juice and I walked down the aisle and the aisle was full of orange juice. And I was mm-hmm. like, Oh shit. Okay. This is going to be easy. Every single bottle. It was like 50 to 60 bottles. Mm-hmm. No pulp. Yeah, dude. The fuck you yep. mean? No pulp. I'm not <laughs> drinking water flavored yep. like orange. Get that shit out of my face. How are your hands? By the way, my hands are fine. They're way better. Yeah. How, how long did it take for them to heal up? Uh, after I stopped, like, after I cleaned everything, probably about two days. Mm. So it wasn't that bad. I had an allergic reaction, everybody, to, I don't know, something, ground beef, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but my hands were, like, horribly rashed. Swollen, too. Yeah, swollen, too. Like, I couldn't wear rings and shit. I took them off because degloving is my greatest fear. Mm. Just a pro tip to everyone listening out there. If you want to get under my skin, uh, shear it off. So <laughs> If you don't know what it is, don't Google it. Yeah, don't Save Google yourself. degloving. Yeah. It's just imagine if you took off a glove, but the glove was your skin. Uh, yeah. Nah, dude. That's, that's not what's, fun. I, I, back in like high school, I got a, like one of those tungsten carbide rings. Never yeah. wear it. Yeah. I, it, you can't cut those. Tungsten carbide, tungsten carbide is what they use to make those like drill bits and shit because mm-hmm. they don't break easily. If that ring, if something happened to my finger and they needed to remove that ring, they're taking the finger. They're yeah, not yeah. taking the ring. <laughs> and I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> I ain't losing a finger. I'm not an Assassin's Creed man. You know, like, not going to happen. It'd make a good story, maybe. No. Story no. you could tell people. Yeah, I could just show them my horrible finger that is missing now. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's a good story. <laughs> I'd rather have the finger. <laughs> <laughs>
rather have the finger than the story. I mean, um, if it's like a useless finger. None of them are useless that fingers. Uh, thumbs are worth more than others. Yeah, but none of them are worthless. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> like, you could live without your ring finger. I mean, no, you... Noah's talking like he's been on black market and he knows the prices. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Like, Look, dude, I could get 20K for this ring finger. You think I'm going to say no to that? You're Come an organ, organ donor, right, James? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, hey, man, they can take them. If they need my kidneys and I'm, you know, yeah. dead, back it. What you going to do with it? Exactly. <laughs> Even if they just throw it around the office. I don't give a fuck. Take my kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> cool I, I, the, the, the first time I got my blood drawn, I was in the, like, it was a high school blood, like, Mm-hmm. blood drawing thing and i was like squeezing the thing and i had, was like laying on the table closing my eyes and they're like hey you can't close your eyes what if you like we, we need to know if you pass out and i'm like bro i'm just relaxing chill and like <laughs> i closed my eyes again and they're like don't i'm like if i pass out just take it all <laughs> like just drain me if it happens <laughs> fuck it so let me sign a sheet did he pass out yeah keep keep sucking <laughs> he doesn't need it well, uh, the last time i got my blood taken was kind of funny story yeah like I, I'm not like squeamish about it at all, and like it doesn't bother me. And I was like looking at her, like set the needle up and whatever, and she like kind of snapped at me. She's like, "Don't look," and I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny. Uh, we were just like talking or whatever, and she asked where I was from, and like I told her Beloit, and she was like, "Oh shit, no way!" Like a person who worked there was actually from Beloit and lived in the town for like an extended period. Oh, we my high school. Yeah, it was weird. That's super goofy. Wow. Was that yeah. when we took you, or is that a different time? That was, a different time okay oh yeah. shit it's pretty fun small world yeah it's the small <laughs> no you were right it's no, we'll, a small copyright world. yeah oh he's yeah, right we don't want to get world. fucking cd'd by disney yeah, yeah, disney knows that shit. yeah. <laughs> they'll go after anything <laughs> yeah they will <laughs> they'll hear that for half a second go mm, what's that 30 subs <laughs> you're out <laughs> we own you <laughs> Um, so I guess I guess we can move on to the the good old Final Fantasy. Yeah, I got loads to talk about. Kind of about. Yeah, Trisha that. told me you beat it last night. Yeah, I beat it last night. I stayed up until one in the morning to to make sure I beat it. <laughs> and I'm at max level now, and I started a hard mode run. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. Hard mode's not that hard, but it's dumb. The the you what can't makes use it items, hard. right? You can't use items ever, and your really? MP yeah ever. And sitting at the benches doesn't recharge your MP. Jesus, so you just gotta buy a whole bunch of. You can't use items. How do you recharge your MP? Uh, so it slowly goes up during fights, mm. and you can cheese it. You know the Shinra boxes. Yeah. If you leave the area and come back, they respawn. So you can kind of keep like shifting states and just breaking those boxes. Oh, it's dumb. Yeah. It, and like the enemies are a bit harder, but you get more AP and more XP for it. So mm. it's like, oh, cool. Like it's fine. But like I'm, I'm just doing it because. I don't even know why I'm doing it. <laughs> like, I, I just wanted to see how hard it was. Um, yeah, I, I, I beat it, and I was thinking about starting a hard one. But I figured you probably wanted to play it, you know, so. If you want your copy back, you could take it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Like, I don't I don't have to do. I, when I, okay, so there are these manifests that are in hard mode, and they only show up in hard mode. But I thought they were going to be, like, secret reports, like how Kingdom Hearts does, right? Like, it's like, oh, you get a manifest from this chapter, and you get more information of the story and i'm like oh cool and then i looked it up and it's just sp for your weapons so each one you get is like 10 sp for one of the characters oh is that the ones that move kid was exactly okay yeah and it's just you get them for every boss you beat and you get them for certain like doing side quests um and i'm like oh well then i don't really give a shit because this isn't more story and content yeah um but yeah i mean it's 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 cool the hard mode it's worthless and unnecessary <laughs> so where should we start should we talk about the story first should we talk about grievances or i've got a bunch of lists of stuff to um talk about uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start i was very scared when i first heard about how you didn't like it how you and matt didn't like it same and i was because Matt, Matt, Matt Gerard and I, we played the demo, and the, we hated the demo. Yeah. The demo mm-hmm. was, like, atrocious feeling. And I was like, if this is how this game's going to feel for the next 40 hours, I'm not going to fucking play it. <laughs> yeah. Like, it straight up turned me from I had a pre-order, and I said no. Yeah. I wasn't going to buy it. <laughs> Damn. So I, I was very scared. But then once I started playing it, I, I was like, okay, this feels good. I like everything about this. Um, I love the game. 
The game was super enjoyable. The love they put into it, you can tell, was high. Yep. And um, fucking Barrett is a standout. Barrett's the best. Barrett is the best. Who who'd you end with? What, what party did you end with? Okay, wh- which fight? Sephiroth. The fight with Sephiroth? Yeah. It was Tifa, Aerith, Cloud. I had Barrett, Aerith. Damn it! I wanted Tifa Barrett Cloud. I hate Aaron. <laughs> yeah, I had I had Barrett. Aaron. Oh, she has that double casting thing. That's pretty dope. It's super cool, but you need to fill her ATB to like use it, which is cool. But at the same time, if like you can get knocked out of using spells if an enemy hits you with an attack. Sure. So it's like it's hard to get off high level spells. Period. Sometimes, mm-hmm. and then the final bottle battle, I was just like, nah. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit triangle and I'm gonna parry everything that Sephiroth brings at me. <laughs> but yeah, I I loved it, Barrett. They they did Barrett so well. Yeah, I I was expecting them just to like make him somewhat okay, but he's the most definitely the best thing about this game. Absolutely. And uh, also, Noah, I would recommend playing it. Play really? first. Play the original first. <clears throat> I really? I either way, I, I like I, I I say play. You have to play the original first if you're gonna play this. <laughs> Should I spend a hundred hours on that game? Uh, if you get it on the original, super easy. And if you get it on Switch, since you just want the story and the gameplay doesn't really fucking matter. Like if you play it on Switch, you can just turn on three times speed, infinite health, and uh-huh. always have yeah. like and no encounter, and you can just run through the game. Jesus, yeah. that's what I did because I was like, I've done this before. I just want to beat it. But twenty hours. Still twenty hours. Could have taken less. <laughs> it's, a, it's a PlayStation One RPG. It gives you bang for your buck. Oh yeah, yes. and it looks like shit because it has so much shit to put in there. So it, <laughs> hey, it looks great. Yeah, pre rendered backgrounds, dog. Cloud's hand is literally a cube. Dude, I was I almost <laughs> threw up. I was looking at Barrett's. He has a cube hand, but on his real hand, there's like a thumb. Really? Yeah, it's just one like square polygon on top of his fist, and I was like, <laughs> no other character had it. And I'm like, why did you give him the weird little <laughs> pinky on his fucking fist? Okay. But yeah, I, I loved it. That fucking Rufus boss fight was great. It was great, but I I I I hated some of his moves. With the coin move. Yeah, the coin move is so dumb, dude. I love when he tells Cloud, "Oh, you're a soldier. I own you." Yeah. I was like, oh my god, he's such a piece of shit. Yes. <laughs> Yes, and they kept the dumb dog too. Yep. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, that boss fight was dope. The Genova boss fight was dope. I was scared. The Genova boss fight pissed me off, but it wasn't. It was the game's fault that it fucked me. What happened? Uh, I used Cloud's limit break. Okay. And I had two limit breaks. I had one for Tifa. I used Tifa's limit break and his limit break at the Let same go, time. Was it in between phases? Yes. So it and it you ate one. my limit break. Yeah. I was like. <laughs> fuck you <laughs> fuck you the damage didn't even go through it just ate it just, God damn. and i was like no 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 still beat her but i was like yeah that's that just the boss fight was dope and the seth ross ball fight i wasn't i wasn't expecting to fight him i thought i was worried because when i fought Genova, i was like oh this is the last boss fight uh i guess but at the same time that's not where you fight Genova in the original yeah so it's like oh exactly <laughs> But yeah, um, everything about it was just fucking perfect. I love how the characters interact with each other. Yeah, I like all the, like the side characters bullshit. I like Leslie. Leslie is a piece of shit. Yep. But he's also trying to make things better. I, I appreciate that because at first when y'all met him, I was like, who, who is this fucking dweeb? Well, at first when I met him, I was like, he's actually a surprisingly good dude because he's like, you don't want this. Yeah. Leave. Cause uh. But he's also still bringing girls in. Exactly. So he's also, you know, assessing. Well, he's not bringing girls in. He's just allowing them to go. He's in. opening the door. Yeah. Which is still yep. fucked up. But he, he comes back and he, like, tries to make things better. Hey, man, they have to, it sounds like they have to do it on their own. They have to agree to it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't. You know? So, like, if they agreed and they walked in, it, it sucks. But Le- that's not on Leslie. You know, he he warned him, don't don't do this, and then they did it, and he's like, yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're underage and they don't know what they're agreeing to, just based off Don, the Don himself. I mean, you're right, but at the same time, <laughs> if like 
if Noah walks up to me and he's like, I'm going to shoot up this heroin. And I go, don't shoot up the heroin. And then <laughs> Noah shoots up the heroin. I did everything I could fucking do. He slapped it out of my hand. Yeah. Well, what if I did? And you pick it back up. The fuck am I supposed to do? Smash it. You. What if you go home and do it at home? Try harder. There's nothing I could do. If you went home and then did more heroin and I couldn't have stopped it, but I tried, I did the best I could. So don't do heroin, Noah, because, I mean, like, I'll try, but. I don't know, man. <laughs> Seems like a good Sometimes idea. Sometimes you got a free base. <laughs> and I, I liked how they did um the Honey Bee Inn guy. Yeah. Andrea. Yeah. They did him super well. I never thought I wanted more DDR cloud dancing. <laughs> dude, I want to show Noah the video of it at some point. It's so good. They even did the workout dudes with the squats well. Yeah, dude. Jules is the best. Yeah. He's incredibly attractive, kind they, of. But they it's didn't weird. overdo it. Yeah, you know, they didn't make him super. I'll you know? show you, Jules. He okay. looks fucking weird, but like, he's attractive and he's got really full like lips, lips, yeah. okay. <laughs> and he's got like really feminine features, kind of. But he's muscular as fuck. fuck. Okay, and he's weird. I <laughs> like. You I do was the pull looking. Up thing? No, you I, I did the first one with Andrea, but I didn't go on. Oh man, the pull up, the pull up one. It's hard. so hard. Yeah, I, I read that it was hard, and I went, I don't care. What's the reward? Another champion's belt? Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> The pull-up one's hard. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate all the love they put into this game. I yeah. appreciate the way they handled the whole situation with Cloud dressing up. Yep. Because it, it could have been bad. Cloud still cross-dresses, and yeah. he still does. And, uh, yeah, I, I, the ending is – is the ending I'm okay with. It's just a fucking gamble. Yeah. Pretty much, no, they, they, they pretty much say we're going to start fucking with the timeline. And they went the way they do it. Is... Yeah, dude. So they're just like, we're going to change shit from now on. Yeah. That's that's part of why it's so, like, Darius is right. You probably should play the original. Because mm. there are things that if you didn't play the ori- original, there are things that are going to be lost on you. Because it's like, to us, we saw it and went, oh, shit. That's yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, if you don't you know? know who Seth Ross is, you're going to be lost. Okay. Straight up. I know what I he looks like. No, you're good. Oh. But so the ending, I'm not mad at the ending. I'm just, they. it's a gamble. They could fuck it up or knock it out the park. We don't know yet. Yeah, yeah we, absolutely. We don't they, fucking it's know yet. Straight up, it's it, this is a polarizing game. They could do one wrong thing. Fuck it all up. You think they will? <sighs> I don't trust Square Enix yeah. all that well. I was, was going <laughs> to say it's Square Enix and it's Kingdom Hearts guy. Yeah. The mm-hmm. last time, like... <sighs> His Can, he I, goes too far sometimes. Yeah, he he doesn't know what he's doing, but they let him do it anyway. <laughs> nice. Um, and I'm 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 gonna buy a second one, so they got my money. Yep, they got my <laughs> money too. Uh, I'll yeah. buy that copy of that game. I'll want to play that day one until it's all bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> we'll see if there is a third one and how the third one plays out. It should be four, right? Uh, three. It was three days. Three. Yeah. We'll see. we don't but we don't know. Yeah, it could be five. It like, or it could be two. <laughs> we we literally don't know. I've I've read shit saying they don't even know. Yeah. Jesus. How could they? Yeah. You know? <laughs> and uh I appreciate I dude, I think the favorite my favorite part of that game is how they incorporated Hell House. <laughs> because like I was I was wondering for years, how, are they gonna just put it Hell House in the game? It's literally a house that you fight, but mm. because it's a like it's a turn based mm. game and random encounters you believe it. Yeah. And you're in like a weird like graveyard, junkyard, like haunted place. Okay. You're like, ah, oh, cool. This is a house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the way they incorporate it, I fucking love that fight. And did you, did you do the part where if you summon stuff, the announcers would like say, oh, Eric summoned Fat Chocobo to help her out. Uh, yeah, yeah. I summoned oh, yeah. different though. Yeah, that shit nice. was dope. So I, Hell House was like the biggest surprise and favorite part of that whole entire experience. Yeah. Nice. So. I love I loved most of it. What, what about you? I loved most of it. I've got a big old list of like... Gripes. Gripes? Like little things that I feel like they could have done better. And then also some cool facts. Because okay. like some, some of the characters are like people that we know. Like big voice actors. Uh, Biggs is Steve Fox from Tekken. Jesse is Futaba from P5. Oh, yeah. Red 13 is Ryuji from P5. Really? What it's a so deep, vocal though. range! <laughs> what a range! Wow, it, it blew my mind when I heard him talk. I was like, "That's the same man!" Like mm-hmm. it's night and day, dude. Nice. Like completely different human being. 
Um, and then another character, Kyrie, is on from P5. And I'm just, like, listening to all these P5 motherfuckers. And I'm like, did they just get the P5 cast? <laughs> like, it's not a bad option. I'm just, did you guys just get the P5 cast? Whoever voiced Barrett was great, dude. I'll, I'll, he, they I fucking more. killed it. I need more of him. Barrett's the best. Yeah. Trisha was like, I hate every character so far except for Barrett. Yeah, Barrett's the Like, man. everyone else is like, like, all the women are varying levels of shit. And like all like Madam M. No, not even like Tifa and Aerith. <laughs> like as characters or Yeah, as characters. characters. Okay. And like like she, she was just like they're all like kinda shit. And I'm like, yeah, no, you're right. They're what they're this? they're fine. I mean, but like what's wrong with Tifa? What's she do? It's, it, I I hate that like she's <laughs> Personally, I was hating the fact that even at the end of the game, she was like, I don't know if this is what I want to do. I don't know if this is what we should do. And it's like, it's my fault all those people died. And it's like, look, if you're going to say it's your fault, you might as well keep pushing the blame and be like, nah, it's the person who made the bomb's fault. Like, ah, oh, nah, it's the person who designed the plans for the bomb's fault. Bitch, come on. Like, so you're saying she should have just took responsibility? Well, no, she because like it wasn't her responsibility, but she took it anyway. So like, if you're gonna shove the responsibility onto you, shove the responsibility away from you. Like, like because she kept complaining about it, and it's like, it's over. I know it hurts you, but like, you're going on a little bit too much. It's done. I mean, and Barrett was like straight up like, yeah, that happened. Move on. Like we we all got a Barrett. <laughs> I didn't even mean that. His name's Barrett. Did you, <laughs> did you see that? That's <laughs> clever. Um, no. Uh, another thing is, like, there are no unique NPCs, which was annoying. Like, even the people that give you side quests aren't unique Dude, that shit was so NPCs. Final Fantasy 15. That's yeah. exactly how I found You could tell the same people worked on this. Absolutely. And the, the, the animations on those people were bad. Yeah, they, they're, they're, you could tell, like... Like, if they're not cutscene people talking, yeah. the, like... The tongue moves vaguely at a different speed than the teeth, which moves at a different speed than the jaw a little bit, and it's like, ugh. <laughs> so like it, they well, don't look Final like Fantasy they should 15, be. Right? Barely. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, it's like an hour. It's it, it was a little rough. It's yeah. A little rough. You can tell who's a main character, who's not. <laughs> oh yeah, you can pick. You, you can play pick the protag really. Dude, easy. I, lo- I I just love the fact that they Barrett is just walking around on a train full of normal people with a gun arm. Yeah, because <laughs> it looks so dumb, but they kept it, you know. At, so I was I was talking about this with Trisha. At the same point, though, with how many people are in Soldier, not all of them use swords. So like that might be not normal, but like if you looked at someone like that, it might be like, oh, I. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah, I just, it's just all these business people, and then you see Barrett. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a funny comparison. Barrett is also nine feet tall. Oh yeah, like he's fucking he's, huge. Yeah, he's and he's wide. Like yeah. his fist is five or six times larger than Tifa's. Jesus, like he grabs her hand in a like cutscene, and it's like straight up giant level of like, it's like I'm Shaq gonna I'm gonna touch. Him. Yeah, <laughs> like like my entire fist goes over your hand so easy. I could just snap it. Jesus, yeah. he's fucking. He's, he's a monster. He's a big boy. Um. No, the the it, it it really does a good job of showing that soldiers are supposed to be crazy. Yeah, with, with, with Roach. Ro- Roach. Yeah, yeah. Like um, he's a new guy in the game, but he's like he's a soldier, and he's like, ah, I'm a crazy motherfucker. I'm gonna fight you, mm-hmm. and then like you beat him, and other like soldiers, like not soldiers, but like military people, come in to like kill you afterwards, and he knocks them all over, and he's like, no, 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 no. He won. Damn. I'm gonna fight him. You guys stay back. And they're like, but you lost. He's like, yeah, I'll fight him later. Don't touch him. And then he leaves. And they're all like, I guess. Fuck. I eat. <laughs> and it's like, well, you, you couldn't go up against him. You know, it's like, it's like if Mike Tyson came at you and was like, nah, I, like, I, I'm going to fight this dude. No one else touch him. And it's like, you got it, Tyson. <laughs> like, I'm not going to say no to Mike Tyson. Exactly. Um, Barrett sings like Darius. <laughs> There's a part where he's like, "Yeah, we're doing this stuff and going on an adventure," and like Darius, like <laughs> same exact tone and everything. It was fucking beautiful. Nice. Uh, <laughs> like I was just smiling the whole time. Um, you you sit at benches to rest and like it refills your HP and MP, mm-hmm. but like it's really tone deaf in certain parts because it's like, "All right, we gotta go. That scientist went up there. We gotta go save Aerith." Yo, let me take a little nappy first. Let me just take a little nap. And they could have done anything else but benches. But it's yeah. like, oh my god, this tower is about to fall. We're climbing to the top. Ba 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 ba. 
I gotta take a, I gotta take a little nap. <laughs> yeah, Give yeah. me a sec. Yeah, na- and Cloud just like sits down all calmly and shit. Yeah, and it's just like you could have done something else. Right. Like you, you had the time. Make it like a vending machine or something. There are there's, vending machines right next to it. Yeah. It's the dumbest. Like they could have even like Mako is life stream energy, which is like what the whole mm. story is about. It could have just been a broken pipe of Mako, and right. standing near it could just refill your HP and MP. Like fuck it, you know, boop. Because it's like too much of a good thing is bad for you anyway in the game. Like Mako's good, but whatever. And I was just like, like sometimes I was like, man, that's tone deaf. They could have done better. Yeah. Um. And and like, so, so there's this. I'm gonna get pretentious real quick, and no, no one knows kind of what I'm talking about here. And Darius does too. So there's this concept called ludo narrative dissonance, which mm-hmm. is like. You Game don't play versus narrative exactly, yeah. and you don't want uh, like like Tomb Raider is really really the original Tomb Raider. Um, sorry, the mm-hmm. original remake of Tomb Raider, <laughs> so Tomb Raider twenty eighteen or whatever it's called, um, is really bad with this because in the game you're killing people left and right, like right. murdering them. But in the cutscenes, she's like, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't want to do this. Yeah. Like, it's so hard. It's so difficult. And then the next scene, you're headshotting people and you're getting points <laughs> and like a score for doing it. And you're like, that's real tone deaf. Isn't it a thing in Uncharted as well? Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's not as bad in the earlier ones because they actually. I thought it was the reverse. I thought it was bad in the early ones. Well, because like he, he doesn't complain about doing it sure. but it, it, he is an every man that's just murdering people and yeah. they never talk about it but there's one thing that they actually changed because there's a part where you like you're sneaking through a place and he knocks this like two guards off into the water down below mm-hmm. and they're just guards they're not like evil people yeah and people are like he killed those people that's really messed up like nathan wouldn't do that yeah. and they actually updated the game that if you do that scene later they, and they look swim. down they swim oh yeah. really yeah so they're alive nice and people are like oh fuck okay like good job yeah, it's dope so this game kind of has that because there are loads of enemies in the beginning of the game where they're like, Barrett's like, okay, I've got a gun arm. I'm going to teach you how to gun arm. I'm going to shoot ba 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 gun arm. And Cloud can't hit them. But the next time you fight things, like Cloud is jumping no shit, like twice the height of where those enemies are to do aerial combos. Because mm-hmm. like the game can't just make a melee player not be able to hit them. Like players be pissed off three fourths of your playable characters are melee. (laughs) Like, but it's just like so weird to have that happen. Be like, no, I could hit that. Why aren't you letting me? Right. Especially in a cutscene, cloud jumps like 30 feet into the air to save a person while holding someone and his sword on his back. Yeah. Cloud jumps big in a fucking motorcycle cutscene. Yeah. A lot of, (laughs) but I just chopped it up to the Advent Children bullshit. Oh, absolutely. But it's still the fact that it's like, let me do it in the game. Because, like, Cloud will jump 40 feet up to jump onto a fucking, like, ledge in a cutscene. But I can't jump down or up from this six-foot-tall crate. Yeah. Why, why do I got to take the ladder? Cloud can jump. And then the next scene after doing that, Cloud literally jumps, like, 20 feet across the river to save two kids and then picks those kids up and jumps back. And I'm like, Cloud's got the legs. <laughs> Don't tell me Cloud ain't got the legs. Uh, there's also a scene when you fight Rufus where he's like falling off the ledge. Motherfucker's got the grappling hook still. It's still in his inventory. And he's like, oh no. And Tifa has to catch his arm. <laughs> it's like right after. Oh, Rufus. 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 Yeah. He, he does. He, he tries a grappling hook. He doesn't. I think he does. I, I did it last night. <laughs> He doesn't. He just falls and goes, <gasps> and then Tifa grabs him. Oh, he doesn't even have time to react. It doesn't matter. He's got the grappling hook. The grappling hook goes but, for a million feet. But with the time to for between him falling, what is it, one foot? Yeah, but he but but earlier, they all fall off that platform and then they can grapple hook. And even Barrett like grabs and grabs the grappling hook, but he misses. Okay, like, Jay, but things. we're gonna you're gonna make me get into the science of. How long it takes for him to fall one feet, or how long it takes for him to reach behind his back and grab grab one of those? Yeah, but he shoots. Here's the thing. I want to get into. I want to get into. I, I'm just saying that he fell <laughs> further earlier in the game and then grabbed it and shot it. But that he time was he was probably like, going to grab it. He wasn't. He Philly. F- okay. Well, even if he was going to grab it, the cutscene was really badly placed because it's like, oh no, Cloud's in danger. Except not at all. It's like it's like if he like, oh god, I'm falling, and then it ended up being like a one foot drop. It'd just be like, uh, I was annoyed by it, but like not enough to like take me out of the experience. I was like, why am I worried? He's got a grappling hook. And like Tifa saved me. He's like, thanks for saving me. And it's like, you didn't need her. You had a grappling hook. 
Um, but no, it's just like little things like that that I like. I notice, and it's like, uh, how about that Kingdom Hearts area at the end of the game when you go through the the little portal there, where it's just that thin water all across the ground and all the smoke around them. Oh yeah. I was like, please don't make this Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> please don't tie this into Kingdom Hearts. You could do it, but don't do it, Nomura. That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> I would kill me. <laughs> Apparently, um, I was listening to. The best friends are Pat and Wooly. Mm. And the last part where where you fight Sephiroth's like alone, mm. that's the same area you fight them in the fucking original game. Yep, at the end of the game. I was, so I, that was super interesting to me. When Sephiroth says you have seven seconds left, that's seven seconds until the end of the world in the original game. So when he's oh, like wow. seven seconds, maybe you could do it, is like, like, hey, maybe you could swing it. Who knows? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like, there's a lot of cool stuff about that, like, last scene. Sure. Uh, and this is just, uh, this last thing is stupid. The PHS you use to switch between parties in a certain section. And I was, like, having an aneurysm, because I'm like, that noise. Why is that walkie-talkie noise so familiar? <sighs> that walkie-talkie noise, I'm like, it's from Resident Evil. But what Resident Evil is it? It's like the ch ch And I, I hit it at, at, like, one of the last ones. It's the noise of accepting and canceling menu options in Outbreak. <laughs> it makes the exact same. Oh my god! <laughs> and like it's it's a one one same noise, and I was like, got it. And Trisha looked at me, and I'm like, I know, I know, I'm a loser. You don't gotta say nothing. Fuck me. How'd you like Red Thirteen? Fucking amazing. Yeah, he's fucking great. He I is. loved every time he used a he used his limit. He, oh, he uses his limit? Yeah. Stardust? When? All the time Just while, during while fights. Fight? Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice he'll, that. He'll do the shout. Enemies will go towards him, and it'll do the energy rain around That's him. Dope. It's rad. Because wow. he's like, he's a real party member in the game, like yeah. in the original. But they were like, you get him in the last chapter. And they're like, we don't want to have to make people learn how to play a new character. Mm. So he's like a guest. Um, so he'll just do stuff in the fight. He'll heal you, or he'll deal damage, or he'll do whatever. Nice. But like seeing him do his abilities, I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> he he looks so fun. I can't wait to play with him. I'm, I'm excited. Eventually, when you know, four years from now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, PS6, let's do it. <laughs> Are you excited for the PS5? I'm excited for the PS5. Here, uh, information's supposed to come out this month about it. About a release date or Something about like that, yeah, because yeah. we already know all the like specs at least. Yeah, I think also games this month. Good, good. Mm. Knack three, baby. Let's go. <laughs> hey. Ooh, let's do it. Hey man, third time's the charm. Maybe they'll make a good one. <laughs> I, I, I am curious if they're gonna have like a good launch title game. PS two still had the best launch so. window. <laughs> Period. Probably. I don't know all of them. Oh, dude, it was like within like three months. It was like Devil May Cry. Gran Turismo 3, Ace Combat 4, Final Fantasy 10. Like, it was just like, boom, 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 yeah, boom. Yeah. Here's everything. It's like, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Sony's uh, been crushing it, so I believe. Oh, yeah, Sony killed this gen. Yeah. Yeah. They, I think they definitely won this gen. Yeah. I think Switch I think is this, still my yeah. favorite console of I, this gen. I don't know if we should count Switch as this gen, because technically it's not. The Wii U is. I think gens... I'd have to go on Wikipedia, but like gens aren't based on like the next console that yeah. is used. It's based on like years, so it might be, maybe. But I don't. I don't know how long. I don't know. No one's. No one's talking about Xbox. That's all we need to know. Yeah. No Xbox can go fuck yeah. itself. Yeah. This this year they saw between Spider Man and Breath of the Wild. Too. This whole gen Xbox sucked. The f- yeah, the fact that they're doing multiplat with PC is destroying them. Yeah. I think. I don't know. There's no point to fucking get a console if you have a good PC. But exactly. people still buy it, don't they? Yeah, sadly. Right. Xbox, yeah, and they're still diehard fans. So, which is ridiculous. They've had no games this generation. Yeah. Sony's been hey, crushing hey, it. Hey, Crackdown 3. I don't care. <laughs> like, third-person shooters, thanks. Shitty Halo games, thanks. Like Best decision I ever made was selling my Xbox One for a Switch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah the, the, it the, sounds the, like a trade-off. What games did you own on there? Uh, I got a free copy of Dark Souls 3. Which is not multi-plat. Exclusive. Yeah, which okay. is a multi-plat. Uh, Rare Replay. 
It's good. Multiplayer. Okay, that's yep. worth it. But that it's worth it, but it's also not because it's just it's not none of them are Xbox games. They're all yeah. just rares games that I can play on Xbox. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's also on PC, so is it? I believe so. Oh god, I gotta download that. Is it on Steam? Windows Store? Probably Windows Store. Fuck, I gotta download that. Yeah. Anything uh, else? No. No. Oh. Sunset Overdrive came out. And I played Sunset Overdrive. Isn't that on other multi? No. Sunset isn't. No. No. Uh, it, it'd be on fun on Xbox. PC, but it's not great. Is it not on PC? It, it might be, be now. PC. I haven't checked in a while. Uh, that was like the only game I wanted to play, but that's only because I like the studio that made it. Yeah. Insomniac, right? Yeah. Uh, Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. No, it was Insomniac. Was it? Yeah. No. Yeah, you're right. It was Insomniac. Yeah, because I was like, Sucker Punch is... Uh, Sly. And yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because that was the big, that was Microsoft's big get, is that they were like, yo, Insomniac is making a game for us. And everyone yeah. was like, what? Uh, it sucked. <clears throat> it sucked. Yeah, I played it. I, I heard it was fun. It's it's fun, but like, it, it was weird because they were like, like a character would be like, oh man, bet you hate these types of missions when people ask you to do them. <laughs> and then you still had to do that type of mission <laughs> yeah. with that person. So it's like, what was the point of your dumb fucking joke? I still have to play <laughs> this little shitty wink. video game thing. It's just a wink. Yeah. But it was a bad wink. <laughs> uh, the world looked cool. The like yeah, the style. Yeah, the style cool. was amazing. I made uh, Frankie from I remember One Piece in that. there. Yeah. I made him one-to-one. So I was like, this character editor is all right. Mm. But... It was fine. No, uh, Dead Rising 3 was also good on that it. That was a scalebound. Scalebound was supposed to be good. Yep, it was supposed to be good. Looked great. And they got, got canceled, canceled for Halo Wars. Yep. Appreciative. Halo Wars? Halo Wars came out on 360. Halo, Halo Wars 2, dog. Two. They made a sequel? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a while yeah. Ago. <laughs> really? Yup. I don't even remember that. Why would you? Yeah. No, no one remembers that. Nobody... <laughs> if you're going to tap into the RTS like community like that's not the way to do it yeah no rts's are like unless it's civilization or starcraft yeah well i just meant unless it's civilization which is slow age of empire yeah no like slow rts's work fine on console but like like you couldn't play starcraft on a console no (laughs) never uh (laughs) no uh, microsoft sucks they really have to get their uh shit together with the sex box but yeah well they there's no there's no care. way they're releasing the pc so i have no reason to get one exactly i'll still buy the playstation 5 day one probably yeah depends Whoa, on what games come out be for it, but... it psychonauts 2 didn't microsoft buy them I don't uh think microsoft it's exactly psychonauts 2 isn't exclusive but i think they do own double fine double fine now so i can play psychonauts 2 on a ps4 still yeah yeah, when Psychonauts 2 comes out, it is still coming out on every other thing because that was a Kickstarter thing. Or yeah. uh, Fig, which is an... Is it? Yeah, it's it's the, it's a Kickstarter. It's an Indiegogo. Okay. Um, so yeah, that will still be multi-plat. Right. Um, if, that, they, if that game comes out. If, yeah. <laughs> that was the only good conference. That, like the, the I appreciated that conference when they announced that because he was like, hey man, <laughs> thanks for buying our company. <laughs> we'll, we're all ready to make like uh, any Halo or Gears of War that you guys want. <laughs> And the Microsoft person on stage was like, nah, you just keep doing what you're doing, Tim Schafer. And he's like, ha, cool. I was lying anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, we, we would never make those games. And it was like, ah, I love it. I like you, Tim Schafer. Yeah, um, they need better first party games. Yeah. They have nothing. Trisha said it best, which was uh, Microsoft not content canceling their own games, now buy yeah. more studios to cancel other people's <laughs> games too. <laughs> which is uh, very true and very hurtful. It, it got me in the soul. Um, this is weird to put here, but F it. We're all just kind of stream of consciousing this right now. I got an email that was an apology email from Indivisible. Oh, yeah? Yeah. For not having your Switch version? The Switch version came out on the 28th, and it was an accident. So really? people could buy it on Switch on the 28th. Shit. But they were they so they, they accidentally they, let it out. Yeah. So originally it was going to be on the twenty eighth, and then they were like, "No, we'll wait to put the game out with the day one patch because the day one patch puts ten eighty p like sixty fps on uh, in docked mode and sure. like adds new game plus and adds all this." And they're like, "Okay, we'll we'll wait. It's going to be like May first or like middle of May, something like that." Um, but they didn't change it in the launcher. So the launcher hit April twenty eighth. Game went live. 
everyone. Shit. The studio that made it, uh, Lab Zero was surprised. 505 Games, which is the publisher, was surprised. They were like, we didn't know about this. What? <laughs> and I don't have my fucking code yet. So Damn. backers to the Switch versions don't have their codes yet, but people can buy the game. Damn. What did the apology say? We're sorry. We didn't know this was happening. We're working to get you your codes as fast as possible. What's the Fuck you. Man. You said, you said <laughs> they, they were waiting for a patch? Yeah, because they were making a day one patch, and they were like, eh, it'll be ready about the same time we were going to release it, so let's just push it back so that the patch will go live at the same time so they'll have all the features. Um, which is smart, you know, especially since they never told us a release date anyway. We wouldn't have known any different, sure. but now we do. <laughs> and it's like, you guys fucked up. <laughs> and all the people who backed it hoping for a Switch version, you made a little bit pissed. Because it's like, ah, cool. Mighty Number no. 9 did this. Yeah, I might buy it on Switch. I, I'm, you should. It, it looks great. Yeah. I can't wait to play it Indivisible. on Switch. Yeah. Nice. I can't wait to play yeah, it. I'm surprised. Eventually. Yeah, it came out a while ago, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, like uh, I'm surprised October. it isn't out. Switch versions always take a long time. It's fine. Yeah. Like I, I don't need to play it right now. I had six months worth of amazing games to play. So, when was I gonna play it? Was it was I gonna play it when Resident Evil Three came out, or when Final sure. Fantasy came out, or Persona, or Animal? I was fucked. <laughs> you know, I still have to pick up Doom at some point. Like, oh yeah, the play Eternal. Eternal. Yeah, yeah. I really want to play Eternal, but. Yeah. I wasn't going to spend $400 in two weeks on video games. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Is that? Yeah. That's, that's, I don't know. You guys got anything else? That's the end of my fucking podcast. I think there was something I wanted to talk about. If I forget. Most expired thing. Did you finally buy your costume? No. Fursuit? Is that where you're going yeah. with this? God damn it. Yeah. Try bucks and go to that. Come on. <laughs> Went all of that bad dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got some too. Ooh. <laughs> it's the name of the episode. Bad dragons are us. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> yeah, shit. That's the end of that. I guess so. You can't think of it. No. Uh, okay, so I've been watching this show called uh, Black as Fuck on Netflix. <laughs> yeah. And. It's I'm not, so sorry. This is the squeakiest chair ever. It normally doesn't do this. It's not particularly good, but um, there's some. The writing's all right. Hold up, real quick, because you just reminded me. I was I made a racist. I didn't make a racist joke, but I thought Barrett was being incredibly racist when he went and did the high five for Red Thirteen, because <laughs> they ask him for his name and he's like Thirteen. Yeah, that's what they called me, Red Thirteen. And, like, Barrett calls him. He's, like, straight up, like, yeah, Red. And he goes for a high five. And Red 13's, like, a dog creature. And he just whips him with his, like, tail. And Barrett's, like, <laughs> what the hell, Red? And I was, like, whoa, Barrett, that's a little oh, racist. Because he's Indian? Well, not not that. I was going to say because his skin's, re- like, his fur's red. It's, like, what? Do you want him to go, yeah, what the hell, black? Like, <laughs> damn, Barrett. And then I was, like, oh, and Barrett, what the fuck? I know he didn't give you a name, but you're calling him Red 13. You're literally using his slave name. Damn, Barrett. Come on. Try a little harder, dude. <laughs> anyway, black Bear, as fuck. Bear, Bear, yeah, Barrett's a fucking idiot. <laughs> I, I love how stupid. Uh, remember that scene with him and Cloud just banging on the door like dumbasses? Yeah. <laughs> There's this big sealed door and they can't get through. And you see in a camera and like Cloud is like hitting it with the buster sword. And Barrett's just like <laughs> impotently punching it because it's like. 40 feet high and made of steel and it's just like <laughs> idiots like what the fuck so yeah uh the show isn't good but there's something special about it they 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 have some good good little scenes in there what is it about it's about uh you ever heard of a show called blackish yeah i've heard of it it's the writer of that show he like wrote a, a whole bunch of other shows and like some movies and stuff so it was like pretty much kind of like curb your enthusiasm where he's playing himself but he has like this f- fictional family and like he's like just like living his life around him yeah and like funny right. shit's happening or whatever so i'm watching it and my question to you guys is if you can make a reality show about anything you want to do a reality show yeah well does it have to involve me in any way yes. or is it what would your show be about? 
I can still make this work. Uh, my show is about <laughs> me hanging out with Jeff every day. That's a good show. Yeah. Jeff Austria is the, a god amongst men. He's the show. funniest dude I've ever met. <laughs> the fact that he isn't like ultra famous on like Twitter or some shit is a goddamn travesty. Yeah. Absolutely. Every time he posts on Facebook, I, I, I laugh. There's nothing he doesn't have. Po- I will show you when this podcast is done stuff from this man. <laughs> Jeff is an is is amazing person. Every time we play D&D, he plays the same character. The character's name is Jeff. It's just him. But it always fits the world. Like, it, it, it never is out of place. His Animal Crossing island is called Fam Island. It makes me laugh and smile every time I see it, dude. So there's mine. You hanging out? That's a good one. It's because I just want Jeff on camera. Yeah. You know? Like, I just need Jeff on camera. Well, you know it could be anything, bro. Anything. Yeah, it's review those bad dragon toys. <laughs> <laughs> is it paid for? Yeah, it's paid for. Shit, a traveling show where you just do like plein air stuff. That'd be sick. Plein air? Like outside painting. Oh, drawing, yeah, 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 yeah. The I mean, Bob Ross like, of nature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. just like interesting locations. Yeah. You could you could dabble in facts with locations and yeah, yeah. animals and stuff. Yeah. It'd be, be super dope. good. I'm think, super chill. I think I'll go like Darius becomes a spy. <laughs> yeah. But they follow me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> See, your yours it's Noah's a mockumentary. I, I love it. Yeah, I was gonna say Noah's sounds like a PBS thing. Yeah. Like a real PBS thing. Yours makes me think of that. What what was the the show on Adult Swim about the people in witness protection pro- program? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, 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 shit. yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, like they wore the ski mask on. Yeah. Them, right? I forgot what that shit's called. Delocated. Yeah. Yes. Yours sounds like yes. that level of like bullshit. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> every episode would end in the same way of just, is that a camera crew? <laughs> like, <laughs> they credits just try to roll. <laughs> I'll just put on a bad Russian a- accent and be like, oh, Putin, what's up? You know? <laughs> 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 but it's the perfect bad one. Exactly. <laughs> just. <laughs> Is that a camera? <laughs> and tonight we're breaking into Fort Knox. <laughs> <laughs> I just really love the idea of just like the end of it, like just Darius shit. And then the camera goes full shaky yeah. cam as the whole crew scatters. <laughs> and then just for the added benefit, cause some people have to get caught. Some people are slower than others. Yeah. The end credits, the camera crew would be, they're, some they're of rotating. them would be different they're each rotating, episode. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, that's so good. We need to pitch these. I think that's a good just animation. Oh, that's, animated series. You're so right. <laughs> you're, it, dude, if that fucking, what, Dan Versus can get made, yeah. Darius Spies could get made. <laughs> like, <sighs> That's it for me. Yeah, that's that was good. That's a good. That's a good everything. God damn. Well, guys, it's, it's good to be back. Hopefully, we'll have more of these podcasts coming up. Uh, shoot us an email tell us the answer to all of the questions you heard today what <laughs> house would you get what <sighs> face tat would you get and what real reality tv show would you make yeah thank you for taking time every day to listen to us we appreciate it. it all the time forever <laughs> we notice we i always <laughs> notice <laughs> we comment we we were there we're in the discord yeah Hop into that Discord link. It's right there, right below the... No, a little lower. No, a little lower. There it is. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Click on that. Uh, yeah, that one. You're good. And we're good. We're, we're Gucci. All right, cool. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Stay buff. Yeah, stay mm. stay buff. Stay ripped, chips. chips. <laughs> Even women, stay buff. Stay buff. <laughs> women can get buff, though. They're, they it's can. allowed. Yeah. It's respectable. In this household, we stand. Yeah, we stand for buff. <laughs> <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs>